not according to the diplomatic note that Guatemala sent last week. They made it abundantly clear that the visit of the People's United Party parliamentarians and others was an exception because they had been told it was an educational trip and that the Guatemalans therefore had no objection to it. Meaning therefore, if you're reading between the lines, nobody else better try it because we, st and they asserted that they still claim all of the river and they claim that there, that there must be therefore certain protocols that we must follow. And those protocols do not, at this point, allow for unhindered access. Where do you think the miscommunication, because there is some sort of miscommunication or misinformation happening I don't somewhere. know that there is a miscommunication, and that is as far as I am willing to go. I am not going to try to spell and guess what the motives of Guatemala are. My concern is how we respond, but more importantly, how we plan to deal with the situation moving forward. We cannot always be in response mode. Sometimes we have got to have a plan to move ahead. And I think this is what Belizeans are looking to their government to have. An internationalization plan, a plan to deal with the issue, and a plan to move forward to whatever kind of dispute resolution that there is. Because we cannot afford to just sit here and allow this thing to fester. That's the one thing we can't afford to do.